Yo, what's up everyone? Kevin here. Today I'm at the Outdoor Retailer Show, hanging out with the crew from Outdoor Master. What's the goal with the brand of Outdoor Master? No, it's actually that we really want to lower the barrier for each kind of like outdoor scenario, like to getting more people getting like a skiing, snowboarding, like hiking, camping stuff, and cycling. That's, that's our like main vision to, build, to actually build this brand. How long have you guys been working with Zeiss or is this the first year? We have been like negotiating for a couple of years and this is the first year we officially uh, got a feature with Zeiss Lens right here. They're also magnetic and some of them are Zeiss Solar Lens, which is like their premium level. Oh wow, so this is a magnetic lens as well? Yeah, of course. It's totally magnetic. We got a tan spot on it, it's like feeling super oh. firm <laughs> on it. Right. And the Zeiss offers like really good protection from the UV rays and, and gives you that clear picture? Right. Uh, Zeiss lens are like kind of a different between uh, us and Zeiss. We are more like uh, filtering in like the blue rays and we have like our unique uh, OVP lens technology and it's super like or even the outdoor anti-fog technology. The most important thing with snowboarding, anti-fog, protection right. from the sun, being able to see clearly. Yep. So that's cool that you guys have partnered with Zeiss and, yeah. and getting all that done. Yep, thank you. This is the Falcon Goggle. It's opening weekend here in Utah, so excited to, to test this guy out. This is the lens that can, when you're outside in, in the light, it can, it can change. So basically there's a sensor located right in the chip system. So this is a solar power totally. You don't need to charge it. Back right here, you can see the chip. And it can like change the color right away where you're feeling like the strong sunlight and if it's still sunless gone, you will go back to this clear lens. Awesome, I'm gonna, I'll test this goggle out this weekend on uh, opening weekend here in Utah. I think that'll be a good test. That's gonna be great. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, do you want to uh, show the seagull? Is that what they're called, the seagull yeah, goggles? So this one we got inspired by like old school, like retro style pilot goggles. And normally that we wear in like some sort of like bulky goggles. It looks like a bug or fly or stuff. However, we kind of like, you no, know, developing these sort of like foldable goggles that can really light it being, uh, and compact. You can actually storage it in the pouch in your side pocket. So it's very convenient for you on a slope or in the resort. You want to go to the bar or anything, you're going to have the rest. You don't want to put your goggles on uh, above your helmet or to go back to your backpack and storage it. So it's going to be very super like uh, ultra convenient for you. When I look at the seagull goggles, the first thing I think is these would be super cool for like backcountry trekking. So like have them on like on a backcountry hike and then maybe like when you're about to do your run or if it's like getting too warm, you can just like pop these guys off, throw them into a pocket. So a really good kind of goggle that's very versatile. What are you guys doing this season for like snowboard community? Does Outdoor Master have any plans to host events or contests? Yeah, we currently are, have, are planning to work with a few ski resorts in Vermont and Boise, Idaho, and we are donating like our gears to some like non-profit organization. And we want to try those like people with like maybe disability to actually help them to enjoy the snow. Oh, that's amazing. Right. I heard you're doing something in the Northeast, some like contests. Yeah, we are. We actually have the Outdoor Master Rail Jam. Uh, we originally started that event out in Colorado and mainly looking to kind of expand it out nationwide. Do you want to let the people know like of the contests that you guys are hosting and what people can win and like what they can look out for? How can they get inf info on that? Of course, right now we're currently in the process of finalizing out, working out in like Vermont, we have Virginia, we're also out in New Jersey, we're working out the back ends to it, but we will be posting everything onto our Instagram. The main thing is uh, we'll be making a lot of like posts to our website as well for people to join. Who would you say is gets into your goggles? Is it like young people, older people? Like who's your who's your you know main snowboarder? I'd say we originally started with uh, curating towards either people that are freshly getting onboarded or people that are like college student looking to stick a little bit more on like a budget. Um, but since then, we've kind of like expanded to offer a little bit of something for everybody. So this year we kind of like released a bunch of like new helmets. Uh, so that's our classic Calvin series. Yeah, that's we our kind of like hot selling stuff. And right here we got like new carbon fiber helmet that's really light. 
Oh wow, carbon fiber. Yeah, carbon fiber right here. We got like maybe cycling helmets right here and downhill helmet. And right here are a new list of like maybe ski and snowboarding helmets. That comes with like a dual piercing module that you can like choose like the color based on what uh, which kind of like carbon, uh, color combination you, you prefer. Oh, you can yeah. adjust the color combination. Yeah, we can oh, like cool. actually customize based on your preferences. Wow. Yeah, however, and this one is the diamond. It's our the first generation of the MIPS helmet. It comes with a single module, so it's pure color. Is it a price difference between these ones and like the average snowboard helmet? Yeah, as I mentioned, that we always want to lower the uh, like budget for people who want to actually enjoy the uh, shredding on the slope. So we keep the price as low as we can. It's like uh, uh, below 100 bucks. To get a helmet with MIPS under $100, that's, uh, that's huge. Yeah. Dino, yeah. thank you, man. No problem, Kevin. Thanks. That's huge. Yeah. We can have you on board. Appreciate it. Yeah.